Hello, good day everyone. As part of our lesson for solving quadratic equations, today we want to look onto the relationship between quadratic roots and the quadratic coefficients. This is the general form of any quadratic equation. When we say coefficient, we are referring to these real values, A, B, C. They are the coefficient of this quadratic equation. And when we say roots, we are referring to the real solutions of 10 after solving a particular quadratic equation. So let's assume after solving this quadratic equation, which is ax squared plus bx plus c equal to zero, we obtain the real values of x as the first one x equal to alpha, and the second uh, root equal to beta. You know definitely this can be transformed into factors. The first factor is going to be x minus alpha equals zero once you subtract alpha from both sides you are going to obtain this and the second one is going to be x minus beta also equal to zero this is to say if you multiply these two factors together you are going to obtain this particular quadratic equation hence let us do that we have x minus alpha multiplied by x minus beta and the whole of this equal to zero Let's distribute. x times x is going to make it x squared. Then x times negative beta is going to make it negative x beta. Then we'll move to the next term. Negative alpha times x is negative x alpha. Negative negative is positive. Alpha times beta is alpha beta. The whole of this equal to zero. We have four terms, but the two middle terms contain x, which we can factor out. So we have x squared here minus, uh, we are going to say beta plus alpha, because this negative sign will be transformed into positive, because this negative sign will affect it. Beta plus alpha is the same thing as alpha plus beta commutativity. So we have alpha plus beta and we have x out plus alpha beta the whole of this equal to zero so this is to say this quadratic equation and this other one are exactly the same because we have used the root of this quadratic equation to form this one the only difference is in this quadratic equation the leading coefficient is a while in this other one the leading coefficient is one but we want them in such a way they will have a common leading coefficient by dividing each of these terms by a. So if you divide this term by a, you are going to obtain only x squared because a will cancel a, plus b over a, x plus c over a equals zero, divided by a is still zero. Hence, we are going to relate these two quadratic equations together because we see they are exactly the same. We have x squared here, we have x squared here. They are exactly the same. Hence, we are going to relate the coefficient of this middle term and this one and the constant together. The, the coefficient of the middle term here is negative alpha plus beta. So we have negative alpha plus beta this is equal to b over a because we say the two equations are exactly the same. So we have b over a. For more convenience, we can divide both sides by this negative so that we have only alpha plus beta to the left. And to the right, we have negative b over a. And this is one of the equations we are looking for. And the second one, we are going to relate the constant together. We have alpha multiplied by beta, and this is equal to um, c over a from the other equation, and zero equal to zero. So this is another important equation, which is equation two. What we are trying to say here, after solving any quadratic equation, naturally we are going to obtain two real solutions. Those two real solutions are the one we are referring to this alpha and beta, this is to say, if you add them together, it's like taking negative b over a, which is negative coefficient of the middle term divided by the leading coefficient. And by multiplying the two roots together, which you obtain, 
which is alpha times beta, is the same thing as taking the constant of that quadratic equation and divided by the leading coefficient. So this is one of the important of these uh, formulas. Another important of these two formulas is that once you are given two roots of any quadratic equation, you can use these two equations to form a particular quadratic equation which has been solved to obtain those two roots by using this equation, which is also very important. I will show you how to use this one. So suppose we have an equation x squared minus x minus 2, the whole of this equals 0. We want to find the roots of this quadratic equation. Let us do that by factorization. We have x here, we have x here. So now we want to think of two numbers, which when we multiply them together, we get negative 2. And when we add them together, we get negative 1, which is the coefficient of the middle term. So the numbers are negative 2 and the positive 1. Because negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then negative 2 plus 1 is negative 1. If you set each of these factors to be equal to 0, the first one you're going to obtain x equal to 2 once negative 2 crosses over the equality sign. Or the other one is going to make it x equal to negative 1 once positive 1 crosses over. So now let us use these uh, two equations to do something very important. First of all, we want to add these two roots together because these are the roots we obtain after solving this quadratic equation. So we can say x1 plus x2 because we have two real solutions. This is equal to 2 plus negative 1. And this is equal to 2 minus 1, which is equal to positive 1. By adding the two roots together, and we are told that adding two roots together is like saying alpha plus beta, because we say let this to be the root of a particular quadratic equation, which is the same thing as taking negative e over a. E. So this is, let this x and this x be alpha and beta. So we have alpha plus beta. And we learned that is the same thing as negative b over a. E. And this is equal to negative b from this equation. We have b to be negative 1. So we have negative, negative 1. Divide by a. And a is the leading coefficient, which we have here as 1. So this time, this is going to make it positive 1 divided by 1 is still 1. You can see we obtain the same value. So this is to say you don't have to solve quadratic equation before you can perform this operation. All you have to do, just apply this formula. Directly take negative b divided by a. It is the same thing as taking the two roots and adding them together. So now let us see multiplication. Suppose we want to multiply these two roots together is the same thing as saying x1 multiplied by x2 and this is equal to for x1 we have 2 multiplied by x2 we have negative 1 and this is the same thing as this times this which is negative 2. They say is the same thing as taking alpha times beta which is the same thing as c over a. Let's see if they are the same. Alpha beta this is the same thing as c over a. And what is our c is the constant, the last term. It's negative 2. Divide by the leading coefficient here is 1. Divide by 1. And this is the same thing as negative 2. Hence, these two values are exactly the same. So you don't have to solve them before you can perform this operation. And one important of this operation is that we can form the quadratic equation which has been solved to obtain these two roots by using this formula. So you don't have to take the two factors and multiply them together before you could obtain this. You can directly apply this formula, which is um, x squared minus alpha plus beta x plus alpha beta equals 0. Alpha beta means sum of roots. Sum of roots to add the two roots together. If this is alpha and this is beta, meaning you should add them together. This is x squared minus 2 plus. The other root is negative 1. 
all multiplied by x plus alpha times beta, meaning x1 times x2. So we have 2 multiplied by negative 1. And the whole of this equal to 0. This is x squared minus. This plus this is just like saying 2 minus 1, which is exactly equal to 1 times x. Then this time this is negative 2. And the whole of this equal to 0. If you uh, expand this, you are going to obtain x squared. Negative 1 times x is negative x. Minus 2, the whole of this equal to 0. And hence, this is exactly the same as this quadratic equation, which we solve earlier to obtain this 2 root of quadratic equation. So subsequently, we are going to see how we can apply this uh, principle in solving many problems. Thank you for watching. Do have a nice day.